This investigation took many twists and turns along the way. Peel police confirming it was an inside job involving Air Canada employees and fraudulent documents that were used to get that cargo container with uh, $20 million worth of gold bars onto a truck. And I want to show you this. So this is the actual truck that was used during that gold heist that happened one year ago today. The driver of this truck was simply able to drive away from the airport with those fake documents in hand. Have a listen to investigators. At 6.32 p.m., the suspect arrived at Air Canada Cargo driving a five-ton truck. The suspect reversed his vehicle to a loading dock and exited the truck. The suspect was carrying a fraudulent airway bill as he approached the warehouse. The image you see is the actual airway bill that the suspect produced. This duplicate airway bill was printed off from a printer within Air Canada Cargo. Once inside the warehouse, the suspect provided it to Air Canada Cargo warehouse attendant. A short time later, a forklift arrived with a container of gold and foreign currency and loaded it into the rear of the suspect's truck. Now, investigators say the gold was eventually melted down into bracelets and other jewelry and sold for profit. And this is when American authorities got involved. It's believed that some of the proceeds were being used to smuggle illegal firearms into Canada. One of the suspects was pulled over by state troopers in Pennsylvania back in September. He was in a rental car and police discovered 65 guns, including machine guns, allegedly bound for the border. Uh, now, this is considered one of the biggest gold heists in Canadian history. It led police to a gun trafficking ring, and it took a lot of teamwork and tireless investigation to unravel this very sophisticated crime organization. Uh, Brampton's mayor is calling this a good day for public safety. And one thing I do want to point out, FISA, is that all nine people who have been arrested are currently out on release conditions.